Good morning, here from Miami. Good morning. We did not plan to make a video today because we had a pre-recorded video, but then we saw the Casey Neistat quit vlogging. It's not clickbait. I really am ending the vlog. And 90% of all my comments are in regards to that. So I wanted to make a little video and say what I think about what, it's, what Casey's doing and why I think he's doing the right thing. I first heard about Casey when I started working with Marcus. I really didn't know what daily vlogs were and then Marcus showed me Casey's vlog and I'm like, that is cool, he's making like a interesting edit of a day where you're doing nothing. I was so used to, you know, skiing in the vlogs and trying to do epic stuff to make it look cool. So when I saw that, I'm like, wow, that is really awesome. And that, I think, is what started our channel, well, took it from just ski vlogs to where we are today. The reason I think Casey did the absolute right choice is because I've done similar things in my life where you have a perfectly working structure and, you know, it feels like your life is set. And then you have an idea and a vision and it's something you want to do and it's not what you're doing. So a good example for me where I did something that is similar to what Casey's doing now is that I was one of the best freestyle skiers in the world. I won the X Games, I won the US Open, and I, you know, making a lot of money sponsorship-wise. We were winning a lot of prize purses, and everything was really good, except I didn't feel motivated by what I was doing. And then somewhere along the, those lines, I started thinking like, what if I start ski racing? And then about a year later, I found myself fully committed to ski racing, and I had quit freestyle skiing because I wanted to achieve new goals. Of course, it was a bit scary in the beginning to leave something that was working and go towards something that was completely unknown. But I didn't really care because sometimes it's more fun to fight for something and try something new than to succeed with something that you have already succeeded with. I will miss his vlogs though. That's the only downside of him making this decision because I love to go on Casey's channel if I feel like, ah, our creativeness is down, our motivation, whatever it may be, it's just nice to go on Casey and then you just see like, every single day whatever he does he has the time to be smart about getting the right angle and like doing things right so we will miss the vlog but i also know that if casey doesn't vlog every day the level of stuff he can put out in the future will just be on a whole other level so yeah we miss out on the daily vlog but i think ep episode wise it's just going to be amazing to see what he's going to be able to put out i mean i've always said that if i win a world cup in ski racing I'm gonna quit right there and then because if I can achieve my goal and stop when I'm at my peak that would be the ultimate like I got there okay I'm done kind of what Casey's doing here he's like oh, I just won the world championship in vlogging I'm done it's that mentality that got him to where he is today you know like it's impossible to try to round it all up but there's so many parts of his vlog that I just love I love the creativeness around everything he does the amount of angles he'll put up just to exit one room is unbelievable. Six fifty one in the morning. The amount of creative angles and solutions and building things that he has is so cool. And then that's it. And then you have the way he breaks his camera gear. Ah! 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 This camera broke. Drop the camera again. Totally broken. Oh, now it's definitely broken. And I just dropped this camera and it landed on my laptop and shattered the screen. Totally broken. Casey, you got it. Now when you're not vlogging daily, Casey, you should get a more killer setup and try to go 4K with whatever you're doing. Because you said it was impossible and that's what got us motivated to look into it. If you're not John Olson, just ignore this next part. John, how do you possibly shoot your daily videos in 4K every day? How is this not just a huge pain in the ass? So now that you have time, you can do it. But then you can't break the cameras. The way he just sends up the drone in the middle of New York City, flying where you're absolutely not supposed to fly.
how is he not in jail for where he flies the drone? Casey, if you have any answers to that, I'll be happy to get some tips on how to navigate through regulations on where to fly drones. Like, how does this guy have, he must have 48 hours in a day. That is the only solution to how Casey is able to do what he does. Because there's no doubt that he deserves all of the credit and appreciation that his channel has gotten. I just passed 1 million subscribers. <laughs> 1 million subscriber YouTube video. 2 million. Wow! 3 million! 3 million subscribers. To 4 million. Then I got to 5 million. I mean, we got to 5 million. So, yeah, I guess in, in the end, it's all about being committed and then being smart and then trying to stay on top of things throughout the whole day. Like, you can sit at night and say, I'm going to be creative tomorrow. But then when you're shooting throughout the whole day, you got to have that mindset with you throughout every single shot because it's so easy just to grab that simple shot. Okay, that's fine. And that's something that sort of me and Marcus sometimes struggle with that we'll shoot what we're doing. But then we're like, wait, let's slow down our day and make sure that we have the time to do things right. So that's something that we are working on to not stress as much so we can be creative and like do cool stuff because we want to make an epic, epic movie every single day. But sometimes I'm just stressing too much. So with that said, I wish Casey all the best for the future. I can't wait to see what he is going to put out and I'm going to keep an eye on his channel. And I'm sure everyone else will do the same because I think everyone wants to see what he can do now when he has more time. So no pressure, Casey. But with this said, I've seen so many Casey comments like, hey, came here for Casey and I like the channel. And I'm like, you came here for Casey, then we better step it up and try to do even better work. So with that said, we are gonna go and continue our secret mission. I hope you guys enjoyed it and all the best to Casey in the future. I can't wait to see what he's coming up with. But for now, over and out from Marbella and we'll see you guys. Marbella, no, no, we're in Miami. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, over and out from Miami. We will see you guys in two days, uh, real time. So, ciao. Ciao. From Miami. Miami. Fine, why do I keep saying Marbella? <laughs>